developing a different way of looking at migration requires us also to reconceptualize migration as a normal process, to rethink it really as a normal process, rather than a sort of problem to be solved. That migration is part and parcel of human society has always been part of human mankind. As trade is, for instance, and to think, you know, about framing the whole debate in terms of pro or anti-migration is almost like to be pro or anti-trade, for instance. This is a fundamental feature of human mankind. People have always moved around. And I think a sort of developing a different way of looking at migration requires us also to reconceptualize migration as a normal process, to rethink it really as a normal process, rather than a sort of problem to be solved, which is a sort of standard way migration is being approached. So it's like being good or being bad, it's part and parcel of the society we're in. And if we look at our collective pasts, we have all moved from being peasants and people living in rural areas to being city dwellers. So. Can you really think about the whole human experience of urbanization, industrialization, modernization, which has happened over the last two centuries and which is affecting the whole world, without thinking about people moving from rural areas to cities? We cannot really think about the society we live in. We couldn't even have the cities and the societies we have without migration. So some people get upset by migrants, they don't like migrants, some people like migrants, but in a way that is not the issue. The issue is to understand where migration comes from and that people have moved around always and that migration is driven by very deep changes in society. For instance, the structure of the labor market. If people get better educated, they also want to move around more. The more specialized people become, the more often they have to move around to find a job that matches their qualifications. And of course, to join family members if people get married or have children or other circumstances, their parents get old, people tend to move around. And when we deny those realities that migration is part and parcel of the human society and development we've witnessed over the last centuries, we sort of uh, limit our vision. And then we get to situations where we create illusions for ourselves that the migration policy, just by imposing a barrier, is going to stop that process. And hence we see that those policies generally don't have the desired effect. If they try to sort of row against the tide uh, where human mankind is going. So if you have development, if you have change, you will have people on the move. And that is something that is going to stay like that in the future.